Today on no more transgender queer psychic prophet shaman angel messenger reincarnated goddess. I'm gonna talk about my ghost investigation. After I moved into my apartment, I started having trouble sleeping in this bedroom. And I started putting this plant in front of this window to get light. And I started putting my blankets on the doors. Later, the ghost of an eight-year-old boy told me he died in this apartment. And that his mom dragged his dead body into this room and cuddled with him all night. So I don't know if there was blood all over or what. And that's why I put my blankets up on the doors. I also started putting my towel on the sink. I thought there could have been blood all over the place. <sighs> After investigating my apartment, I noticed something strange on this door. It was patched up, and after I took the patch off, I noticed a hole, and then a angel came out of the hole after I took the patch off, and he was really upset. He said that humans trapped him inside the door, so I don't know if that's why the little boy died in this apartment or not. Angels are really powerful. That angel was that angel said that boy that died here is the reason why I'm uh, living in this apartment right now. And the angel said that little boy was really smart to get me to move in here. I don't mind living in this apartment, but I don't necessarily like other people's kids. And there's a park right across the street. I also don't like the my I also don't like the door going into the basement. It reminds me of a staged house that door opens up and I can see my next door neighbors I think it's creepy And that's the end of today's. I'm a transgender, queer, psychic, prophet, shaman, angel, messenger, reincarnated goddess.